how to assign a static IP address on Windows Server 2016. If you are setting up your Windows Server 2016 as a domain controller or as any other production server function in your network, it is highly recommended that you set it up with a static IP address. This is a quick guide on how to do that. Remember, you need sufficient privilege on the server to set your Windows Server 2016 with a static IP address. So log into your Windows Server 2016 computer. So already I log in to our Windows Server 2016 computer as an administrator. Then click on Start button and then click on Control Panel. On a Control Panel, under Network and Internet Settings, click on View Network Status and Task. On Network and Sharing Center Console, click on Change Adapt Settings. You can also use command ncpa.cpl to open Network Connection Console as well. On Network Connection Console, select your Ethernet adapter and then right click on it and select Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and select Properties again. Now, currently the server is set to obtain an IP address automatically from DHCP server. We want to assign a static IP address on this server and that's why I'm going to select use this following IP address. Let's assign the IP address 192.168.16.3. We will use default subnet mask. The IP address of our default gateway is 16.1. And here I'm going to specify the preferred DNS server that is 8.8.8.8. .8 let's click on OK and let's click on close. Now we can check uh, assigned IP on our server using ipconfig command. So let's open command prompt. Let's type a command ipconfig slash all and hit enter. As you can see, our IP version 4 address is 192.168.16.3 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. Our default gateway is 192.168.16.1 and our preferred DNS server address is 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. You can also see the status of your Ethernet adapter. Click on status, click on details and here you can also see a currently assigned IP address on Windows Server 2016. So this is the way how we can uh, assign a static IP address to Windows Server 2016 using graphical interface. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.